everyone, this is me and Rick Persetio. Today, or this time, I will show you what Asset Bundle is and how it works and how to use it in our games. Asset Bundle is a feature that enables us to make assets streaming, mean that our assets will be in separated build. They are not included into our mine assets when you build your games. Just like a WinRAR or Shift, the bundle contains any assets file in that binary data. And the bundle can be downloaded and loaded into our game or more than one games. I mean like uh, the bundle, the, the asset bundle is hard file. You can share your assets for more than one game. Uh, for example, you have uh, games A and you have game B. You can share your asset bundle file for that two games. The advantage of using asset bundle system is reducing your installer size. Your game size will be reduced because the assets will be in separated build. But you still need to download your asset bundle in another time when you launch your game. Okay, and then the bundle can be shared for more than one game. That's number two. And the number three is that feature allow you to create a DLC or downloadable content system. What is the process to load asset bundle into our games? Firstly, we gotta download our asset bundle with www class. And then we fetch the assets bundle from the www object with a short of line code like a triple w dot asset bundles just like that pretty simple <laughs> okay and then after that we can now load our assets file like a sound clip sprite texture 2d and uh, sound clip and some other asset stuff we will be using http or file protocol to download our file HTTP is used when you download your asset bundle file from web server, from website, or from a, a cloud server or something like that that had a HTTP protocol. And then file protocol is used when you download your asset bundle files from your local hard disk. From your local hard drive okay the asset bundle build can be built with an editor script that we're gonna make something like asset bundle pipeline dot build asset bundle just like that just we'll just gonna need one line of code to build an asset bundle in unity 5 okay that's the stuff okay uh, I will show you the process how to build our asset bundle file and how to make an editor script and after that I'm gonna show you how to make a script that will load asset bundle into our games. I've created a new project one so I'll just open it. So. What we're gonna do is we create a new folder called question bundle and this folder is going to be our question storage. And so we'll just import our asset stuff kind of texture. We're gonna make a simple quest game. The concept is pretty simple. We display the question and let the player choose the answer. We also had a con named file. There's our index information of the correct answer in that file. 
display load use answer even simpler but firstly let me change the name of the answer file because we are about to use array index terms of programming Now, we have two questions ready. Let's import it into Unity. Just drag and drop the two folders. And don't forget to delete that include to style file. Because when we import folders uh, that contain uh, image files to Unity, the thumbnail files from Windows, Yes, include too. Now, we need to mark our assets to an assets bundle file. So that, when we build our bundle, the assets will be included based on their bundle name. Just do what like I do. Okay, so now we have marked our assets that need to be built. And so, to build the bundle, we need to create a simple editor script. I'm using Visual Studio for script editor. It's really taking time to open on first load. Okay, 
This is Unity's default script template. What I'm going to do is just change the inheritance from model behaviors into editor because we're about to make an editor script. But firstly, we need to include Unity's library called Unity Editor. Otherwise, we cannot make an editor script. We're not gonna need that, so I'll just delete it. And now, I'll make a method that will call a build pipeline dot build asset bundle. This is going to be a static method. The first parameter is your asset bundle path that you will use to store your generated files. And this line of code will make a new menu on the menu bar so that we can call the method inside the menus of the unit editor. Now, what I'm gonna do is just hit my already created menu and you will see what will happen. Yeah, let them walk. It will take a second. And yeah, so the build is finished. Let's see what happens on our path folders or on our creative folder. <laughs> 